United States Department of Agriculture. United States Department of Agriculture. Now, figure this out. Or it's nothing to figure out. If you use the word sanctuary, <laughs> black male between the ages of 18 and 45 who is out of work and able to work receive $9 to $11 a month of food stamps. How could that be in a sanctuary state? The city do not regulate welfare. The state regulates welfare. And food stamps is federal government. United States Department of Agriculture. So how can it be in San Francisco? Young black men between the ages of 18 to 45, out of work, receive $9 to $11 a month of food stamps in a sanctuary city. <laughs> Where is the remaining of the food stamps going to? Well, let's, let's figure it out. You said sanctuary, right? So is it going to the state? Religion? Churches? Well, that's out of the question. Separation between church and state. Is it going to the privatized? Well, that would be slavery, wouldn't it? So where is the remaining of the food stamps under the U.S. Department of Agriculture going to? Well, I can think of only one other place where it's going to. <laughs> You're not going to like it. Anyway, we all know what happened to bullies. In the meantime, isn't this interesting? I did say sanctuary, so assuming, well, it's not good to assume, let's say, the remaining of the food stamps is going to the immigrants, undocumented, there you have it. And it's a cold case file. But since the state refused to communicate with President Trump, you only have one other alternative. And Dianne Feinstein made it clear in 1993, Senator Dianne Feinstein, but that Pelosi lady, it looked like she's owe a debt to someone and she's trying to clear it up. And it's impossible. Anyway, there's your remaining of the food stamps. It's going to the undocumented. Anyway, <clears throat> probably the churches. That's a serious violation, though, isn't it? Okay, I got to go. In the meantime, see ya, and I wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs>